Uh, I should clear up at the start. Uh, yes, I do have a double barreled surname. Don't worry, I'm not posh. My family are from the West Country, hey. where they're lords, <laughs> which I think translates as upper peasantry. <laughs> Here in the developed world. Uh, I shouldn't make jokes like that because they'll send the West Country Mafia after me, or as they're otherwise known as the Uor Uor Army. <laughs> I'm allowed to do the accent in front of uh, it's all fine. Uh, so, one in three children in the UK are overweight, and one in three adults in the UK are obese. Now, you might be wondering why I'm telling you this, just as I was when my girlfriend brought it up the other day, and <laughs> then brought up the fact I haven't been to the gym in a little while. Thank you, sweetie. In fact, my girlfriend's been driving me up the wall recently, the other day she made me go rock climbing. <laughs> Thank you very much, that was... Well, that was slightly patronising, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, but I did get my revenge on my girlfriend. Uh, I brought back one of my personal favourites, uh, our hypothetical child. Uh, there are two main advantages to having a hypothetical child. Number one, crucially, you don't have to raise him. And number two, you can manipulate his qualities to fit any argument you want. You know, so she's there going, I know she haven't been to the gym in a little while. Yeah, but Timmy's worse. What the hell has Timmy got to do with any of this? Well, I mean, Timmy is really fat. You don't want Timmy to lose his other foot, do you? <laughs> I, I should explain, uh, that's to diabetes. I'm not going to chop it off. That's, uh, that's not where that comes from. Uh, I should also explain how he lost the first foot. Uh, that was around the time I took out some money from Wonga.com to place a bet on Carlisle United to win the Premier League. <laughs> Turns out Carlisle United don't play in the Premier League. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a long shot, but Timmy was worse. Timmy took out money from a loan shark. I should never do. It's <laughs> just general bad manners. But uh, my girlfriend did manage to make me go to the gym in the end. Uh, she made me take Timmy. It's clever. Wouldn't have thought of that. She can't exactly go to the gym with your hypothetical child and not exercise, can you? <laughs> then you're just that creepy guy in the gym standing around watching everyone else. Or standing next to a moving treadmill showing you really don't understand how they work. <laughs> but, I swear I'm supposed to be losing weight. God. Difficult. Treadmill is my favourite piece of equipment in the gym, uh, mainly because of the fact that it's just the easiest one to use. Like, I, I don't have any problems working the treadmill. I do have problems with other people though. Other people ruin the treadmill for me, because I'll be there on the treadmill. I always go for the one in the corner. No one should have to watch me exercise. It's how it works. I'll be there, I'll be like running along, doing my thing, you know, full pelts, one kilometre an hour. It's, kind of thing which I go for. And a fit person will come to the gym, they'll see a line of empty treadmills and they'll come for the one right next to me because they want to feel good about themselves. <laughs> it's terrible. I just want to be there like, you know, screw you, this is unfair. Well, I say that, it's a little bit more like... It's terrible, like, I think that there should be a thing in gyms now where we just split gyms and there should be like a bouncer on the door of every gym and, you know, they should be there going like, you, you're fit, in you go, you, oh yeah, I like your style, pretty good, in you go, you, body positivity gym, you know, but the body positivity gym would be amazing, there'd be cat posters on the walls, all the machines would lie to you about how well they're doing, <laughs> there'd be beds, like, <laughs> It would be amazing, it's the kind of place where I want to exercise. Uh, now, I do note at this point in the evening that so far I have prattled on about literally nothing academic at all. Uh, this is because I'm not academic. Uh, I know, I know, the shame, the, the bitter shame. I did do a degree, uh, I did economics, uh, I got a lower second, thank you very much. Uh, I know, I'm proud of my achievements, but uh, my girlfriend is the academic one. Like, she's the one who actually understands stuff. Uh, which is brilliant. In fact, my girlfriend uh, studies medical neuroscience. Can I get you? There we are. Love the panto crowd. Uh, and the brilliant thing is, is that she plans to go on to study to become a surgeon. So that's a neurological surgeon. That's incredible. Can we get an even bigger woo? There we are. But it does mean that in the future, if I have any problems or anything that I'm struggling with in my life, I'm going to turn to her and I'm going to explain my situation. And she's going to turn to me, look disappointed, and say, well, it's not exactly brain surgery, is it? <laughs> there we are, that's the kind of thing. Uh, 
Now, I do have quite an interesting story uh, about me and my girlfriend uh, from this year's Edinburgh Festival. Uh, we were up there in Scotland, it was quite good fun. Uh, but first, I do need to kind of do a general gauge guess thing. So, uh, you imagine, what's your name? Therese. Teresa. Teresa. Therese. Therese. Yeah. Second time. I'm not going back. So, uh, Therese, how old do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Early 30s. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 21. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. No, I, 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 I'm just really, I'm just really not offended. The worst which I've had was 43. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. That one was literally hurt. So I've actually had a compliment for that. Don't worry about it. But the thing is, like, my girlfriend uh, is also 21, but she looks quite young. For her age, well, this creates problems because uh, we went into a pub in Edinburgh. Uh, I went over to the bar to order drinks for us, and the bum uh, asked to see ID. Uh, so I got my ID out, and he went, No, 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 not yours, your daughter's. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible, like, this is the worst thing. I don't know how to deal with this kind of thing. Uh, but, there is like one thing with this, like, because I had to explain to my girlfriend, it's like, this is, this is what happened. Like, I, I want to stop people from thinking that I'm so old. And she went, well, shave your beard off, it's not exactly brain surgery, is it? <laughs> like, Thank you very much, I've been Phil Archer Good night. Yeah.